Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how, to, how I replace my AC on my camper. Um, I have a video on troubleshooting this. Uh, I'll put it in the comments below. Have a look at that too. So I'm going to shut off the circuit breaker for the AC. It's the second one down. It says AC on it. Just click it. This is a 20 amp breaker. So I know there's no power to the, the AC unit. So I'm just going to take this off here. Two clips here. Push that way, it can come down. Your filter here should be nice and clean. So you unplug this and your thermistor or your thermocouple. Unplug it from your evaporator. Take these four screws out here. Take this cap off here. And just to put your sharp knife there, right between the thing and jam it in there. It'll come right out. And two more screws here. Take these four bolts out. Um, I'm going to see how tight they are first. So they're not really tight. They're kind of loose, actually. So. All right, it's a uh, 10 millimeter socket. It's quite long. I'm gonna put some uh, rubber crap here on the bolt, so I'm gonna have to cut that off. Put your hand here and then push up on it. That's good there. And that's good there. Now there's this foam will be stuck to the AC unit here, so you better uh, undo this first because you'll break it. You need to glue this back on on your, on your new one. All right, I put this down here. This is holding by the cable over here. So I'm gonna take the AC off the top uh, of the camper. All right, so, uh, I'm gonna lift this up here. I'm gonna make sure it's not stuck to the membrane. So the membrane don't rip. Good. I've seen people use a ladder, but I got a set of staging here. Here. There. Go on the inside, see how close we are. We're too far, you see the see the membrane. I'm gonna push it that way and bring it back this way. See where the bolt's gonna go right here and here. Oh, bring it up. Membrane that rubber should be just square with the hole. I'm gonna put these bolts in here, give an idea where it should be. Back here. Maybe I'm gonna put some uh, little foil tape here, cover the holes here. All right, tape it now nice and tight there. No air leaks between the, uh, the ceiling. Mix this up here, nice and easy. And hold this up here. That looks really, really good there.
put this in until it starts to have a little tension on it. Right there. And just a little bit more. There's your gasket here, and it's, uh, it's not squish like a pancake. There's just enough tension on it so it doesn't deform it. Looks good. So the next thing you can do is uh, just, just foam, stick it back up there on your, on your AC unit here. I think I might put a little foil tape right here on this side and, and right here. I put a little, little tape there and there. You don't want this to flop open and block your uh, vent when it's running. So I'm gonna plug the AC in here. There you go. And then there's only uh, your, your your thermal couple wire, and that goes right in between, right in the middle. Two of them here. There, stick it in there. All right. She's in there. It's perfect. Now we can put the cover back on. Filter. Snap that back in there. Cap back in. Give it a good cleaning. And uh, let it sit for a couple hours before we turn it on so the uh, refrigerant settles down, doesn't lock up the motor. All right, that's a simple install. Um, take two hours maybe. Um, get somebody to help you put the AC on top of the camper because uh, if you drop that it'd be a little uh, sp expensive little bill all right if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel press the thumbs up button below thank you for watching